What's up guys, my name is Brandon and I cannot believe I'm saying this so soon after my last video, but Apple just released iOS 13.1.2 just one business day after the release of iOS 13.1.1. So in this video, we're gonna be covering what's new, the bug fixes, the changes, and of course the performance and battery life on iOS 13.1.1, which again was just released on Friday, so there's not really much to go off of, but we're also gonna be updating you guys on my situation with the iPhone 11 and the whole overheating issue I've been having. So anyways, let's just go ahead and dive right into 13.1.2 here. You can see it came in at a very small size, just like 13.1.1. This one's actually a little bit smaller at 78.1 megabytes here on my iPhone 11. It was a little bit larger on my iPad. This did also come out for iPad OS. So you can see here, iPad OS 13.1.2 comes in closer to 100 megabytes at 96.6 .6 megabytes, despite having less changes and bug fixes than iOS 13.1.2. And if we take a look at the build number here for 13.1.2, you can see here settings general about 17A86. 60 is the build for 13.1.2. And as far as the modem firmware down here, the modem firmware remains the same as 13.1.1. So if you're having any issues with LTE or your signal or anything like that, it's probably not gonna be fixed here in 13.1.2 since we have the same modem firmware version. So now what could actually be new here in iOS 13.1.2 since it came just so soon after 13.1.1, what could possibly be fixed? And well, there's actually a good amount of things that were fixed here and Apple actually addressed this in the about this update section here when you go to your software update and you click on about this update they actually give you a breakdown in the change log here of exactly what's changed just like with 13.1.1 they do the same here with 13.1.2 and give us a breakdown of the exact bug fixes included in this update and the bug fix that jumped out to me the most is actually the second bullet point there it says fixes an issue where camera may not work and this is actually an issue that a lot of people reported to me on about the iphone 11 so i got multiple messages on twitter and on Instagram about this issue. And I didn't really know what to say because I've never seen a bug before where the camera application just doesn't work. I thought it could have been an overheating issue. Maybe iOS didn't want to run the camera because it took a lot of you know CPU power and it was you know under duress with the heat or something like that, or something to do with the new features in the iPhone 11. But apparently it was just a bug that is now fixed in iOS 13.1.2. So if you had any issues with the camera application just completely not working at certain times, that has been fixed here in iOS 13.1.2. Now I did only hear about this on the new iPhones, the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, but it could have been happening on older devices as well. So if you had this issue, let me know down in a comment below. I am very curious about this because I had not heard of that in any previous version of iOS. Now, another change here in iOS 13.1.2, you can see it says fixes a bug where the progress bar for iCloud backup could continue to show after a successful backup. And I actually noticed this on every single device, not just the new devices. This would happen with the iCloud backups. I noticed this when I was making my videos for the new iPhones for transferring data over and doing the iCloud backup it would always show that the progress was still going on even though the backup had already finished. So that has been fixed here in iOS 13.1.2. Very minor thing, a lot of people probably didn't even notice it, but that has been fixed, which is nice. And just to confirm that this has been fixed, I am going to back up now on my daily driver here, my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I am going to test to make sure this actually has been fixed here in 13.1.2. And I will also show you on my iPhone 10R, which is on an older version of iOS 13 to show you how it was before. And you can see there, it did actually get fixed here in 13.1.2 and now shows that I have my last successful backup at 1.49 p.m. and it shows back up now again. Instead of keeping it right here, it would just stay saying one minute remaining while updating iCloud, but in reality, it was actually finished already. It would just continue showing this progress bar right here. So good job, Apple, for noticing the small things and fixing them like that. So the next issue right here has to do with the flashlight. You could see there it says, addresses an issue where the flashlight may not activate. So I actually have not experienced this. I haven't even heard of anybody experiencing this, but if you did have issues with your flashlight just not turning on, that will be fixed here in 13.1.2. You can see we also have a fix for display calibration. It says fixes a bug that could result in a loss of display calibration data. So that could have been a very major bug if you're trying to get your display replaced or something like that. So that has been fixed. You can also see there fixes an issue where shortcuts cannot be run from the HomePod. And since I do use a lot of shortcuts and I do have a HomePod, I did notice this. So this is actually a really nice fix. So now shortcuts can be run from the HomePod like normal. And then the final bullet point there addresses an issue where Bluetooth 
may disconnect on certain vehicles. Now, I have not had this. I actually use CarPlay on my vehicle, so it doesn't really run through Bluetooth, but it seems that there are always people having issues with Bluetooth audio cutting out on their iPhone. So that has been addressed here in iOS 13.1.2. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be happy about that because again, I do hear about issues with Bluetooth all the time. Now, I also wanted to discuss GPS. So some people reported that GPS was actually worse for them on 13.1.1 and 13.1, uh, but for me, it's actually been better, especially on the iPhone 11. Uh, I think the iPhone 11 actually has the hardware to make it a lot more accurate when it comes to location services and just, you know, especially when it comes to walking, like the direction I turn my phone in seems to be a lot more accurate than any previous iPhone I've had. So I personally have not had any issues with GPS. If you have had GPS bugs, any kind of issue with your navigation or anything like that, let me know down in a comment below. I'm trying to report these things to Apple so they can be addressed. Now, as far as LTE goes, again, we don't have a modem firmware update here for 13.1.2 and LTE just feels the same to me in general, even as it did in the previous iPhone, the iPhone XS Max. So no issues with LTE and no real improvements in general going from the XS Max to the 11 Pro Max. But again, if you have had any kind of improvement or maybe even a more negative experience with LTE, let me know down in a comment below. Now, I am also happy to report that the spotlight bug has been fixed in 13.1.1. So this is an issue I had in 13.1 where spotlight search would just not show any results at all. And you know, even after a reboot, it would still remain sometimes. That's actually been fixed in 13.1.1. It wasn't included in the change log, but I can confirm that it has been fixed. Now, as far as performance goes in 13.1.2, it's pretty much exactly the same as 13.1 and 13.1.1. I've not noticed any difference at all in performance, just you know, navigating around the OS, animations, lock screen, the Geekbench, nothing has changed here in terms of performance, which you wouldn't really expect from such a small update. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life has been absolutely terrific on iOS 13.1.1. You can see here over my last 10 days, it's really been the same on 13.1 and 13.1.1. I've been using my phone a lot lately. I even posted a screenshot over on Twitter the other day showing how great my battery life has been but there's really nothing but great things to say about the battery life in iOS 13.1.1. I personally did not notice a difference in 13.1.1 from 13.1, but many did that had battery issues. Many people noticed a difference when they had battery issues previously. So that's definitely great news that Apple addressed the battery drain issue. And again, since this was such a small update that didn't say anything about battery, I would expect it to be the exact same as 13.1.1. Now, as far as the overheating issue with my iPhone 11, I believe it was fixed in iOS 13.1.1. 1.1, but Apple was just not giving me enough time to test out the software. I mean, I, I only used it really on Friday. It was over a weekend, so I didn't spend a ton of time with my iPhone 11 here and testing out the overheating. I believe it was fixed because I didn't have any issues running games like Mario Kart. I actually deleted Mario Kart because a lot of people said that that was the overheating issue. So I tried to delete that and you know see if there's any kind of difference at all. And I don't think there was a difference in having Mario Kart installed and not installed but it seems to be fixed. I didn't notice my phone getting near as hot on 13.1.1 as it did in iOS 13.0. But again, I haven't done a full extensive test yet, so I can't really tell you guys for sure if it's been fixed or not. I would definitely let you know later on this week though. But I will say that I do think that it's software related and not hardware related here with the iPhone 11, which is great news. So now the question is, should you update to iOS 13.1.2? And my answer to that is yes, but it's not near as important of an update as iOS 13.1.1. Now, if you have one of the issues that was on the change log or any of the issues I mentioned in this video, then yes, you should update so it gets fixed. But if you don't have any issues at all with 13.1.1 right now, I don't think you need to update to 13.1.2 because of course it could possibly introduce new bugs. So if you're running perfectly fine now, I don't think you should update. You should be safe waiting on iOS 13.2, which could introduce new features and maybe a reason to upgrade. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 13.1.2. Apple is continuing to hit us with these software updates at lightning speed. It's ridiculous in a good way, especially since they are fixing all these issues. It's really nice to see Apple on top of their game right now. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy all my iOS update videos, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when the next software update gets released because you never know. Could be tomorrow. Probably not going to happen, but you guys know what I mean. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.